Welcome to this tutorial for administrators using DRDP Online 2023. This tutorial is on how to edit rating periods. Once you've logged into DRDP Online, the permission to edit rating periods belongs to lead agency administrators. If you're not sure, please check the role or roles you have in DRDP Online by selecting User Profile in the upper right. And if at least one of your roles is Lead Agency Administrator, then you are able to edit rating periods. To begin, select the Setup menu on the left side, and then in the drop-down, select Rating Periods. Notice that DRDP has four rating periods, Fall, Winter, Spring, and Summer. Please note that agencies do not need to use all four of these rating periods. You only need the rating periods in which children will have completed assessments. Also, as lead agency administrator, you have the ability to deactivate a rating period. That means that your teachers of record plus enrollment, your site administrators, and your agency administrators will not be able to create classes in that rating period if you have deactivated it. All rating periods will show a minimum and maximum date range. The dates you set for your beginning and ending dates must fall within that minimum and maximum range. For instance, for Fall 2023, the minimum date, meaning the earliest that the rating period can start, is August 1, 2023. The maximum date for that rating period is December 31, 2023. This means if you have any ratings for children that are due within that window of August 1st to December 31st, 2023, those ratings would go into the Fall 2023 rating period. Again, you don't have to use all four rating periods. For example, many state-funded programs use only two rating periods, Fall and Spring. For those programs, Fall and Spring rating periods cover their entire school year. Other programs, like Head Start, may require a third rating period. It's important to understand that DRDP associates classrooms with rating periods. You create new classrooms for each new rating period. If, for example, you have a classroom called Rainbow Fall 2023, you'll create a new Rainbow classroom for your next rating period. It's also good to note that a rating period does not exist in your account until classrooms are added to that rating period. As the lead agency administrator, you are able to edit the start and end date of the rating periods for your classrooms as long as the dates fit between the minimum and maximum date range. For instance, if I select the pencil to the far right of the fall rating period, I can say I want this rating period to start August 7th, meaning that teachers can start entering ratings starting August 7th, and I want the rating period to end December 18th. So that means teachers and other users will not be able to enter ratings after December 18th. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to set rating periods in DRDP Online 2023.